Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So today I am resuming what I have called my weekend challenges. And that is on the weekends, I try and complete one small little crafting project. Generally, it is a diamond painting item. Um, and this is both in an effort for me to get through some of the items in my stash as well as to be able to show you and leave reviews of what some of these budget-friendly companies have to offer and what their final product is like. So today I will be working on this little notebook. This was a Timu purchase. At least I'm quite certain this was a Timu purchase. Um, it is a soft cover notebook here. And if you remember in my unboxing, it did come bent on the corner here. Well, I have been storing it pressed flat and that does seem to have helped it's not quite as obvious on the front of the book anymore I mean you can still see it but it's not as bad so storing it flat did help with that quite a bit um, and uh, these are all different special drills for this particular kit that I'll be working on and I will give updates as I go. Also, you're going to want to stick around because I have two other completion reveals that I want to show you after I get done with this book. As for the, pro the products that I am using, I have my very lovely Bella Art de Nicole drill tray. They make among my most favorite drill trays. There are a few companies that I really love and Bella Art de Nicole is one of them. I am using Mary Mud. I really, really like using Mary Bud with crystal drills and for single drill placing. I just think it works really well. And then one of my almost perfect Enablers Outpost drill pens. And that's just kind of an ongoing thing with me. And I've been storing all of this in a former weekend project that I did. This is a little pencil case but it's not large enough to hold a full-size pencil so I've been using it to hold my stuff for my weekend challenges because I don't need as much for those and um it's still holding up great it looks fantastic and then of course over here coffee and one of my absolute favorite mugs looks like a cable knit sweater I love it all right, so I will provide updates as I go along. I'll let you know if I run, in any, run into any little hitches or snags, as well as let you know the things that I do like about this project. So I'll see you again soon. Just a little bit of an update here. As you can see, I believe I have two colors down right now, orange and the red, number one and number two. It has so far, it's been a really pleasant process. I was not sure what it would be like sticking the drills onto here, but actually they've gone on super smooth. I've really, really liked it. The extra drills I've been putting in the green trays because I've not yet donated them to my elementary school to use as little paint trays, um, something that I've worked out with the art teacher. Uh, so I've just been putting my extra drills in here. Sometimes I separate by color, but that way, you know, if I look through and I'm like, oh, I'm missing a number one, I can easily grab it from here. I'll do two colors in here and then I'll get another green tray and put another one or two colors in there. Um, down here, I have worked a little bit on this bent corner. That hasn't posed any kind of a problem. Uh, it's... Yeah, I mean, I'm really surprised. It's actually kind of fun laying the drills on this because it is kind of like a foam soft cover. You know, it's not it's not the highest quality, but it it I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's kind of it's been fun actually placing the drills and um, the drills so far have actually been pretty nice, a pretty nice quality drill. So that's been exciting. The projects I've had recently, the drills have not actually been that nice. Um, not real consistent color over the whole drill. Um, you know, like they get white at the bottom and then you only have color at the top of the drill. If you have been doing this for a while with crystal drills, I, that will probably make more sense. So everything so far has been, I mean, exceeded my expectations. So hopefully the rest goes just as well. Just a super quick little update here to let you know that things continue to go really, really well. Um, you know, I'm not sure how these 
birds are going to look when it's done. I don't know how, you know, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that they're birds yet. But right now I continue to be really, really impressed, actually. It's turning out great at this point. I am back with a finished product. So this is that completed notebook from Timu. I am sorry about the background <laughs> noise. It's just, it is Sunday early evening here. And that's just the way that it is in my house once everyone's home. But um, as for the item, I really enjoyed this. This was a real treat. This was a surprising treat for me to do. The crystals were really nice. I'm trying to kind of zoom in on those for you. Like I was saying in an earlier video, these crystals were really of decent quality, um, good color throughout the whole crystal. Just, I mean, really super nice. I was surprised by this like white AB type crystal. I was not anticipating that bright of a color on this book, on this canvas, but it works. I think it looks actually quite sharp. Um, I think it, it helps give really good definition. The birds, I think using this shape crystal in there, that shape drill, kind of helps distinguish and make the birds stand out more. Um, that and then the fact with that they have the long blue feather tails, that really does help it look like birds yet, which was something that kind of concerned me. Um, I am a little disappointed. I had already decided I was not going to be keeping these drills, so I was just filling them on these trays as I went along. In case I did miss a color, I could go back through and find which color I needed. But these drills are so nice that I actually kind of wish I had been working to save them <laughs> instead. Uh, they're just so lovely. Like, I really loved this blue. Just such a pretty, pretty blue. I, yeah, this project, it totally exceeded my expectations. This has not been sealed yet, and I, I, I am going to want to seal this, especially being a notebook. You know, it's, it's, even when treated with care, it's still a notebook. You know, it's still going to be tossed around a little bit. You still have to be able to open it up all the way to be able to write in it. So I will be sealing this when I have the opportunity. Okay, so this is my weekend challenge completed. But then I have two other projects that I want to show you. So I'm going to grab those a minute and I'll be right back. Here they all are. So if you watched my whip and chat this week, this is the little Halloween project I was working on with my whip and chat. And I got that done. I think it was actually the next day when I finally sat down and quickly finished it up. It has been sealed. It looks awesome. I've had it hanging in our living room window this week. The kids love it. It's really cute. The drills for this one you know, fortunately, they look good on the acrylic here, but the drills weren't actually that awesome. Um, there were a lot of bad drills in here. They were put together wrong where like the silver side was on top and the color was on bottom. A lot of them were like I was talking about where over here the drills were real consistent in color throughout the whole crystal. That was not the case with this project. So the drills were not fantastic. But the end result is super cute. It still totally works. Then there's this one. I got this one done a couple of days ago too. I love it. This, however, very similar situation with the drills, the crystals in particular. The black drills really were fine. They're just a normal old like 310 acrylic drill. Uh, no, I mean, no real issues, just fine. But the crystals, again, I mean, you can't really see here, but very, very similar to that last Halloween project. This one up here where the crystals just were not of the best quality. Um, different kind of some mismatched sizes of them in here, which I feel like you can maybe sort of see. 
Uh, again, not good color consistency throughout all of them. A lot of throwaway drills. A lot of them were missing the silver backing. But again, though, I mean, this end result is really sharp. I do like it a lot. Um, so I mean, that just goes to show that even if the drills themselves may not all be of the best quality, quite often by the time you do put them all down, your item's still going to look really nice. This is just really, really cute. Really, really cute. So, just cute. And then my book, which I think, to be honest with you, my the book may be my favorite and the most surprising result of all of them. My expectations for this were pretty low, and it ended up great. Again, these are all just things that I have found on Timu. You can watch my Timu unboxings. Most of my Timu unboxings are timestamped, so you can probably find each of these items in there. Well, I mean, they were very inexpensive, super budget-friendly Timu items. This one, there was some glue. If you watch my whip and chat, I mentioned like up here, there was a place where there wasn't really glue on the acrylic. I ran, it in, ran into it up here and then somewhere down in this section again, same thing. There wasn't a lot of glue on the plastic but um it really it seems to be fine after i sealed everything in i have not had problems nothing's fallen off and it's like i said it's been hanging in my window now for several days so it seems to have worked out okay something that i should probably know if you're not aware you know this is just acrylic stuff so hanging it in the window it will yellow that is just a guaranteed or if that's gonna bother you the best that you can do is it's gonna yellow over time no matter what but if you keep it out of direct sunlight it will help increase the longevity of this piece um but i, I for me i feel like i don't know it was maybe like seven eight nine dollars at the most probably and for that price and for the pleasure it gave me I want the sun to show through you know I want to see those drills sparkle in sunlight so I'm fine with it only being used for a couple of seasons that does not bother me but you know that's that's totally up to you so that's just something that I did want to point out end result here is I mean it just that just blows my mind that really is so much more than what I ever thought it would be. So I will have to seal this yet. And if I do have problems, I'll let you know, but I don't think that I will. So yeah, that is it for my weekend challenge today, plus my two other completion reveals, items that I've gotten done. Let me know which one is your favorite. Which do you prefer? I love all of them, but this one really surprised me with how awesome it turned out. Okay, guys, that is everything for this weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I always say, please just practice kindness. You don't know what someone's going through. And so just be kind and happy Halloween.